Hello everyone, Craig from Chasing here, and today I'm here to introduce you to our newest product that's about to hit retail stores, e-commerce, all over the world, Chasing Dory. Dory is the smallest underwater drone on the market, guaranteed. There is not another drone that is this size, and it's actually on my back right now. Usually people will do an unboxing. Today, I'm gonna do an unbackpacking of this product. So let's get to it. Here's our backpack. Let's start off first with the buoy, the Wi-Fi buoy, that is. The tether, 50 foot tether, or for my friends in Europe, this is 15 meters. And the dory, which comes in this really cool hard shell case with a handle on it. Now, you don't have to use this backpack. You can use any backpack. You can use a Herschel backpack. You can use a school backpack, whatever. This thing fits right in the middle. So let's do a little unveiling of the dory, why don't we? We'll unzip and voila, there she is in all of her glory. Yellow and black is how we roll. So Dory is, like I said, the smallest underwater drone in the industry right now. It has two headlights that are 500 lumens. It has a 1080 at 30 frames per second camera, which is awesome in any type of condition. I've used it in murky waters. I've used it in clear waters. I've used it in the pool. It comes out very crisp, very clean. Uh, also, we have three dive motors, one, two, three, which also have a protecting of the motors, these little bars right here, so that seaweed and grass and rocks, they don't all get into that. On the top, you have an indication light, which turns green when it's powered on and red when the battery is dead. In the back, we have two thrusters. And also in the back, we have the uh, connection port for the tether. Um, on the sides, you have two air ports that basically shuffle water in through the drone out the back side of the thrusters. And then you have some gills here on the top and on the bottom next to the dive motors so that water can move in and out freely. So that's the dory right there. Next, let's go to the second part of this puzzle and that's the buoy. This is your Wi-Fi connection to your phone. If this connection moves further away from you than like say 50, 40, 50 yards, you're gonna lose connection. So it's real important to give, give yourself a square space of about 30 yards going this way, 30 yards going this way, 30 yards going that way, 30 yards going that way, and you'll be safe. Another suggestion would be to tie something off to this, mainly probably on the tether, uh, like a fishing line or something. So if you do lose uh, connection, that you can pull it back and reconnect and continue driving the drone. We also are gonna be offering as an accessory a safety leash which will connect to the tether and or the uh the wi-fi buoy here and that will be something that we'll be able to pull back as well but that's something uh that we'll talk about later next let's talk about the tether so what we have here is a 50 foot tether two connection sides that both go into either the port on the bottom of the buoy or the bottom or the the port on the back of the dory and it's really simple to do let's just do it really quickly you just kind of push it in Turn the coupling, and then once you get this one ready, you turn the, push this one in, and voila, you're up and ready to dive. I mean, it's that simple, and all you're gonna need in this whole process is a phone. The phone will open up the app, and you'll have virtual joysticks in which way you control the drone. The right joystick is gonna be obviously up and down. The left jo joystick is going to be forward, backwards, left and right. So. We'll get into those videos a little bit later. This is just an introduction to the world's smallest underwater drone coming at a beautiful price of $4.99. Yes, that's right, $4.99, guys. You've been looking at drones, underwater drones for months now. It's like 1,000 here, 2,000 there, 1,500 there. This is well under $1,000 and it is a blast to play with. Um, so let me show you the rest of what comes with the package. And uh, basically what we've come up with is a universal um, charger. And this charger is really cool. Um, it plugs straight into the wall. We give you different uh, sockets for different people. Obviously in Europe and Asia and different places, you guys have different sockets than we do here in the US. So it's a really cool feature that you can just push this button, turn the thing and push this off. And you can grab any one of the other um, uh, sockets here. I think we have, let me see if I, I don't know if I'm correct or not on this, but I believe this is something over in Europe. Uh, I believe this is over in Asia. 
and I believe this is the second one for the Americas. So they give you two for America and then they have one for Europe right here. That is it. This is all the package. It is so easy. It's plug and play. You're in, you're out. It's not a problem, but like I said, you want to stay within that 30 meter or 30 yards of you so that you don't lose connection and the drone doesn't drift off and you don't have to jump in the water and all that other good stuff that goes along. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you could please subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you have any comments, please leave those below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you so much for watching.